welcome to its traffic in this video we are going to discuss question number 12 of chapter 7 write a C program and define a function square that accept a number as parameter and returns the square of that number as output that means we have to declare a function square and that function will have one parameter and we will pass that number to that function and that function will calculate the square of that number if we pass 2 to the function it should count the square of 2 which will be 4 and return it to the main function and we will have to display the square of that particular number now to do this program first we have to write the header file include stdio.h and after this line we will have to write will have to declare the function so we will write int this will be the return type of the function int then the function name which will be square s q u a r e and within simple bracket we will declare one parameter that parameter will be int and we can give any name let it be n then we will close the bracket as it is a declaration function declaration not definition so we will put here semicolon remember always we put semicolon on function declaration but when we will define the function at that time we will not write the semicolon here now we will go to the next line here we will write main function int main after that we will put the bracket of the main function and inside the main function we will declare one variable so we will write int let this variable be a and this variable we can as here it is not said that whether we have to take it from the user or we have to give ourselves so we have two ways we can take it from the user or we can give ourselves if we want to take it from the user then we can write int a and in next line we will write printf statement in printf statement we will write enter a number then slash n after that we have to scan the number for that we will write scanf and in scanf we will write person d this is the format specifier which will accept an integer from the keyboard and we will store this way uh, value inside the variable ampersand a now we will have to calculate the square using the function so we have to pass it to the function means we have to call the function for that we can have again two ways we can do just in one line or you uh, we can write in two lines I am first writing in the short ways so you can directly write a printf in here you can write the square is percent d and here the value of percentage d will be just will write comma then we will call the function here square and in bracket we will write the name of the variable which is a we will pass a through the function so we will write here a so this will be the statement now we will go to the next line as our program complete here we will write return 0 now we have to define the function declaration done now we have to define for that we will write int square and in bracket we will write the this variable part int we can give any name here let it be n then here we will not give semicolon because it is the definition 
the earlier one which we write uh, which we wrote that one was declaration this one is definition now inside definition inside the bracket we'll write the actual statement here same way we can write just in one line whole code or we can go for multiple lines if we write in just one line then we can write return and then multiply again n then semicolon so this is the complete program first header file then we have declared the function then we wrote the main function there we declare one variable we accept the input of the variable and after that using a printf statement directly we uh, display the value of this variable here we have to close one bracket uh, one more bracket so this is the complete program now let's check whether the program work or not so we'll hit on the run button the program works let the number be 5 so the square is 5 525 so this way it's work now I will show you here I have written the program in very short I have uh, reduced the number of line but if you want to write the, uh, write the program little lengthy means more number of lines so here we can do inside the function definition we have written n into n in place of n into n we can write we can have a variable like int sqr then we can write here int sqr equal n then into n after that we can write return n so here earlier we had one line now here we have two lines earlier what happened we directly calculate and return it uh, sorry will not return here and we will return sqr earlier definition what we did we directly wrote the we directly return the mul n into n to the fun main function but here we have declared one variable sqr and inside the sqr we stored the and in value of n into n and we return the variable sqr so both the definition will do same thing and here also we can have one more variable in main function that may be result and we can store the variable result uh, square of that particular number in variable result so we can write result equal here we will call the function we will write square and inside bracket we will write the variable name which is a then semicolon and here then we no need to write the complete uh, function name here just we will write the variable name like we store the result in variable result so we'll write result so now two lines more increased earlier we had we had completed uh, the program in short way here little descriptive way but the output will be same if we hit the run button and if we give a number let it be 7 the square is 49 so this way you can write this program while you are declaring function while you are declaring function you have to remember the function name should be same here I have written square all in small letters but in main function while I am calling if I write S capital or the complete spelling in capital it will not work let try suppose I am here in this while I am calling I am writing the S capital and if I try to execute this program you will see it will come as square not found so here is the mis uh, error result it is come as ID error undefined symbol square as is capital written here because while I declared the function the spelling was small letter 
so while you are typing the program if you do this type of mistake this type of error will appear and you read the error message properly you will easily able to identify the error so this way you can complete question number 12 of chapter 7 using function i hope you have understood the program if you have still any confusion or doubt you can come to the comment section or you can join my telegram channel there we discussed with our students thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye